So the holiday season for me is probably my favorite time of year, more than likely because when I was a kid, it meant a lot of decorating and it meant a lot of escape from the normal teas of the rest of the year. But it also meant a lot of in-game events for a lot of games I grew up playing. And around this time of year, I always start thinking of older games that I really can't experience anymore. And on top of that list, and eventually I'll make a video going over all of them because there's a lot of them unfortunately a lot of games that I grew up playing that you can't really play anymore I grew up in that golden era of the early 2000s now one of these games that really rose to popularity and really came crashing down hard is none other than Club Penguin. Now to set the scene for you, in the early 2000s there were a lot of major online multiplayer games that were based on web browsers. There was a whole bunch of them that came with their own engine and their own download. Things like Wizard 101, things of World of Warcraft, things in that realm. Now there was another side where there were games like Cool math games and a lot of the Disney browser games or the Cartoon Network games or things like that of that nature that came straight through a web browser. And from what I remember, at least I think at the start, Club Penguin didn't have their own specific download. That's like the one thing that I have hazy. I really don't remember if Club Penguin had its own download or not, but Club Penguin itself was just... <laughs> Fucking incredible, man. Club Penguin was released in 2005. I was three years of age, okay? And again, to set the scene, I'm now 22. So if you can do the math, that's 19 years ago was the official release of this game, and we just surpassed the seven year mark of its unfortunate closure. Now there's a lot of videos on the internet talking about why Club Penguin shut down, and that's not really what this video is going to be. This is just a video of me reminiscing on Club Penguin, a lot like the Skylanders video I did. I think I'm gonna make this a little a series on the channel here, but fuck man, Club Penguin was such a blast. It was one of the first big free MMOs that I was able to get into. Obviously there was a lot of pay to play stuff in Club Penguin for those of us old enough to remember it, us in unk status over here. But when the game first came out before Disney took over, it really felt like the world was your igloo, okay? Like it felt like you could do so much. Obviously you did have to buy coins to customize your penguin a little bit more or your igloo or your puffle or whatever. Now, Club Penguin really shined, in my opinion, in the minigame category. Some of my fondest memories and most fun memories of my early gaming years was sitting in the office of one of my childhood best friend's shops and just playing Club Penguin on the computer because Club Penguin could literally run on a potato if you hooked an HDMI cable from the potato to the monitor. You could literally run in Club Penguin on anything. And I remember sliding down the hill uh, in the sled minigame or playing the ninja cards in the ninja card game minigame. Why do I not remember any of the names? I really should be looking at a list of what the names are called, but that's not how this channel works. <laughs> I even remember the parties like on New Year's, they would always have some sort of big live event and especially in Halloween and on Christmas. <laughs> These two holidays were absolutely massive for Club Penguin. The maps would get redesigned, the mini games would get changes, there would be new introductions and even new storylines eventually. Like there was just so much to do do around the holiday season and Club Penguin is always on my mind around these times of year. That sentence seemed to have a lot of problems with it. I apologize. Not a lot of correct punctuations. <laughs> but man, even just looking up Club Penguin makes me so sad because you can see that the game started in 2005, ended in 2017, and it was literally some people's first virtual world. People like myself. Like you could play this game on Firefox, on Chrome, on whatever Microsoft Edge was at the time, if it was still Edge, I don't know. You could even play it, I think on Linux too. This thing ran on everything and it was so awesome for that reason. Everyone could dress up their penguin to their liking. Everybody's penguin could be a reflection of who they were or the mini games you play could be a reflection of what you enjoyed. And there was something just so 
beautiful about that. What wasn't beautiful was the microtransactions. And I'm looking at you, Disney. I know that's the reason you fucking shut this game down was because it wasn't making us enough money and you purchased other properties for way too much money. So screw you, okay? You ruined my childhood and I'll never forgive you for that, especially after you released that absolutely abysmal iOS game. I'm starting to get tilted just thinking about it. But I mean, I feel like the Penguins of Club Penguin, like the original designs of the Penguin and the color palettes and the way the game looked is so iconic. Again, I'm reaching unk status here, but I feel like everything about this game is so iconic from the UI to how the igloos look to how the penguins look, every, everything about, I mean, this game that started as a browser game had a fucking DS tie-in game. Does no one else remember that but me? Because I still have my copy, by the way. I mean, you had the fishing mini game, you had the introduction of the pirate collaboration, you had, once Disney took over, I will say, I will give them credit, I really liked a lot of the franchises that Club Penguin was able to collaborate with, especially the Star Wars one. I think that update was sick. But I mean, you had different parties, you had different events. Like I think one of the most iconic events, at least in my mind, was the spy event when you had to become a secret service agent in the world of Club Penguin. It was so cool when they started introducing different puffles and they started getting more rare. Like you had the white one, the black one, the rainbow one, even the pink one with the bow tie. There were so much, I don't know, maybe I'm about to change my channel avatar to the Club Penguin Penguin because this, I don't know, this game is, has such a huge impact on me, it's not even funny. Like, I know I say that a lot about a lot of different games on this channel. I feel like every time I talk about an old game, it's always me talking about how much of an impact a game had on me. But this right here is seeped into my fucking DNA, man. I had the puffle, like, real-life plush toys. Because of this game, penguins are one of my favorite animal ever, and I have a ever dying interest for them. I remember so much about this game. I remember so many parties. I remember endless times of playing card jutsu. That's what the name was, card jutsu. Oh my God. I even remember when the game shut down. Like it was one of the saddest days in terms of like video games that I could remember because this game shutting down was like a, a piece of my childhood literally dying. And I know there's ways to play it, right? You had Club Penguin rewritten. You had Club Penguin Legacy, whatever, these different games. And now you have new Club Penguin, but it, it will never be the same. You know, especially because, again, I'm going to get mad at this, because Disney released Club Penguin Island, like, oh... That game is so fucking atrocious. I mean, you had live concerts. I know so many kids grew up now on like the Fortnite concerts. You're a real OG if you remember the Club Penguin concerts, bro. Like, I mean, come on. People are saying Fortnite's innovated? No, no, no. You were never at a dance club party in P Club Penguin, okay? You you and me are not the same. We, we really aren't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Club Penguin is just a super interesting case study too. I mean, it, it really is a great example of how corporate greed can absolutely kill something that is honestly beautiful and, and it's sad and i don't want this video to be sad because this thinking about this game around the holiday time it makes me really happy and again i know i can always make an account on new club penguin and play the game but it's just to me i just like reminiscing on the og game and how absolutely should i say amazing it was absolutely iconic i don't know this game uh, just man just looking at the the images of the the cart and the sled and the cards just oh man this game i miss it so much there's probably like endless controversies around club penguin there's probably so much that can be said that i haven't said in this video but what i will say is that i miss it and I, I miss the feeling it gave me playing this game. Maybe it's just a nostalgia thing. Maybe it's just because I'm a little shit and I want to be like a kid again. I don't. But if you grew up playing Club Penguin in the early 2000s, let me know in the comments section down below. I hope no one took offense to me saying that like if you grew up on Fortnite, you're not the same as me. You're definitely not. But that's not a bad thing, okay? That's We're not going to be insulting each other here. If Whatever game you grew up on, you're welcome here, okay? But yeah, let me know what you think about the Club Penguin situation in 
total, how you feel about Club Penguin as a whole. And if I should change the channel art to just be Club Penguin stuff, that would be really fun. I think there's a commentary YouTuber who already has a Club Penguin mascot, so I, I don't want to I don't want to be seen as a copycat. <laughs> yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about Club Penguin or how you ever felt about the game, if you got the chance to play it, what your favorite part about it was, anything like that. While you're on your way down there, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. We are like 15, 16, 17 subscribers away from the big 1,000. All right, if like 15 of you watching this video right now, whether you came from Reddit or recommendations or whatever, just click the button and, and then just sit on it. And don't even, don't even unsubscribe, just click on it, who cares? Then we can hit the number, okay? This is my dream, let's just do it, okay? It's not that hard. All right, I'm gonna dump be, be, I'm done being annoying. I apologize, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe it'll be a news video. Maybe it will be me ranting about a childhood thing again. Who knows, you never know what you're gonna get here. <laughs> All right. Later.